I started collecting back in the 70s at uh, dog shows. I'd go through all the boxes that they had available from A to Z, and when I came to the M's, it was the thinnest of the thin. Some of my favorite pieces are purely subjective. It's not based necessarily on value. It's just based on aesthetics at times. There's a, an unknown piece that I literally found in a trash heap at one of these junkyard dealers that uh, was about to be destroyed, and it's an early photograph of a young child and a mastiff that's been hand-colored. Uh, it's something that's very unique and extremely rare. Uh, one of my favorite pieces is this uh, work by George Cole, approximately 1833. Uh, its title is Jem Crow and Cartage. Uh, Jem Crow being the, uh, the pony and Cartage being the mastiff type. This is an actual Tibetan skull. This was purchased on eBay. And, uh, these can be readily had for $100, perhaps up to $250, depending on any given day. Uh, the best way to collect is either through the internet on sites like eBay or just in general searches that we do through various auction houses. Mm -hmm. There are certain search engines that you can use. You type in keywords, whether it be Mastiff or Mastiff Bronze, etc., paintings, prints. Uh, one also has to be cautious in purchasing things that way because sometimes there are a lot of fakes out there, people that uh, are just looking to make a fast buck. So it's, it's not an easy game, but after a while, if you get your feet wet, uh, you, you can learn which are the, the real important finds. The things I really love are the old photographs, because it really depicts the early mastiffs that people owned in America and elsewhere. And uh, they're just really beautiful to, uh, to look at.